Here's how to lock apps on your iPhone with a different password. Now, if you press and hold on an app, let's say like Instagram, you can always hit the require face ID, but this will use the same face ID that is associated with your phone. If you want a different passcode, you can set it by going into the shortcuts app. So let's go over to the app library and we'll just search for shortcuts. It's a default Apple app. Let's just open it up here and let's hit done and tap the little plus at the very top. Now on here, we'll create a shortcut. And the first thing we're going to do is tap on search and we're going to search for ask and we'll tap on ask for input. And instead of the text, we're going to ask for a number prompt. It says ask for a number with and I'm gonna put the passcode that I want to use for this specific app. After I've done that, I'm gonna hit done here and under search, I'm gonna search for if and tap on it. And now it says if ask for input is the number one, two, three, four. So essentially if it is the correct number, then I'm gonna hit done and hit search and search for open app. Here it is, open app, and let's choose, let's say the app as Instagram on this list. So let's go to Instagram. Now I need to move this up. So right under if ask for input, so I'm gonna take my finger and drag it up here. So I'm gonna ask for a number, and if the input is one, two, three, four, the correct passcode, it will open Instagram. Otherwise, it will do an alert. And I'm gonna hit show alert, just search for that. And then under show alert, I'm going to say wrong pass code, try again. And there we go. Now I'm going to drag this under where it says the otherwise as well. So it'll look sort of like this. Ask, oops, ask for a number with one, two, three, four. If it is one, two, three, four, open Instagram. Otherwise, just say, hey, that's the wrong passcode. Now on here at the very top left or top center here, we'll tap the little drop down arrow here. And what we're gonna do is hit add to home screen. Now, once we add it to the home screen, the first thing that we are gonna do is rename this Instagram. So I'm gonna name this Instagram. And you can see, I might wanna use the Instagram symbol for this. So let's just go into the app store here and we'll just search for Instagram so that we can use that as the symbol. So I'm gonna search for Instagram here and just use the little image from the app store to use that so that it looks like the Instagram symbol here. It's taking a little bit to load for some reason but let's just search for Instagram if it pops up ever. Now, essentially what you're gonna do is take a screenshot. There it is. Take a screenshot of this. And then on here, we're gonna crop it down to just the Instagram app here. So you don't have to be perfect. It can be something like that. And hit done and save to photos. Now let's go back into our shortcut here and we'll tap on photos and choose photo and choose on that Instagram logo and he'll, he'll hit choose. Now all we need to do is hit add. And now I'll show you that it worked. You can see there's that Instagram logo. If I tap on it, it will say, what is the prompt? I can hit one, two, three, four and hit done. You can always choose to not show the prompt at the very top if you don't necessarily want to show the prompt. Of course that shows the prompt by default, but just by going into the shortcut here, and changing it at the very top, basically ask for a number. If you want to hide that, you can hide it. Essentially, you can always go back out of here. What's the number? You can hit done here, and then that should work better. Let's go back into here. It'll say, what's the number? And then you can type in one, two, three, four, and hit done, and it'll open it up. Otherwise, they won't be able to open it up.